music is attributed across our culture and one thing everyone agree upon in commemoration of the world music day 2022 the organization for rock music professionals in collaboration with sandra lias hotel abuja unveils rock music festival 2022 ambassador phil roberts the team lead for rock music festival 2022 emphasize the nigeria must accelerate its growth on non-oil exports and look into other sectors like entertainment in response to the new global economic realities the recent fall in global crude oil prices has once again demonstrated the urgent need for nigeria to diversify her exports to of other products oil prices have fallen over 60 percent from its peak in June 2014 till date, and this likely will linger for a long time. This is causing unprecedented economic challenges in Nigeria, including a fall in foreign reserves, devaluation pressure on Naira, increased unemployment, falling investment. Nigeria must accelerate growth of its non-oil exports and look within the, to develop other sectors like the entertainment sector, which is the home to this A-class, high-end, globally celebrated genre of music called rock music. He also said the festival will attract the required audience in order to preach the message of love, peace, hope, and unity in the country. Rock music is a broad genre of, music, of popular music that originated from rock and roll, developing into a range of different styles with incorporated influence from jazz, classical music and other music styles. The forthcoming Rock Music Festival is designed to be a major show in the city of Abuja in partnership with Sandalia Hotel, which is a major hospitality giant, all major entertainment associations in Abuja, and formed by Cars NG with the high cars community in the FCT. The project will supply the celebrities, the diplomatic communities, business women and men, high-end politicians and needed to host this VIP event that will draw the required audience needed for such a great event to preach our message of love, peace and hope. The Rock Music Festival will feature press releases like this, free talent development, mentorship, leadership programs, environmental cleaning and other charity projects to hold to help our youths. Dr. A.G.K. Oji, the Senior Special Advisor to the FCT Minister, on health and hospital management said music is part of the creative industry that employ 4.2 million of people in the country and also advised that the gdp of the creative industry be increased by one percent in order to take more youth out of the street to create peace and unity music is part of the creative industry in Nigeria, the, mu the creative industry employs 4.2 million Nigerians. 4.2. And they generate about 730 billion Naira every year, which is about 0.2% of our GDP. Worldwide, the creative industry employs about 30 million people. Nigeria contributes 4.2 million with 0.2% of the GDP. So ladies and gentlemen, where is the growth area? If we can just up the percentage of our GDP by 1% the creative industry, we take all these youth out of the field and out of the bushes and out of the forest. So ladies and gentlemen, what we're doing today is not just to enjoy ourselves, but it's also we're trying to create the future you want to see. A future that is blissful, a future the young people are happy, they make music, they make money. Look at Davido, what he's doing globally. Davido is the first African artist to be used in the World Cup. Austin Asiba, the general manager, admin of Sandalias Hotel Abuja, said they are giving the organization a full backup as the platform will help promote talent and encourage corporate entity to support the Rock Music Festival 2022. When you approached us with this novel idea, we saw there's a need and we decided to lash in to see how best we can uh, give our platform to promote talent and in every way you desire us as a corporate entity to support you have it 100 percent that sangriala hotel managed by Global resources limited 
is going to give you every support all the way. If the unveiling can be this big, you can imagine how the event coming up June 18th will be. And I want to use this opportunity to encourage all the corporate entities that in the respect of our corporate social responsibility, when they come, the Rock Music Federation group come reaching out to you to see how you can support and make the Rock Music Festival come June 18th a success, please, I enjoin you all to give every necessary support to them. It's, it's coming at a time that we need it more in Nigeria. You know, when a situation reaches to a climate, I think what we need to bring it down is music. You can see the example of it even from the right from the Bible. That music is one of the whole institutions that every other person should join. Our Creator, which is God Himself, enjoys music. Whenever we sing praises to Him, He gets moved. You can see this the story in the Bible that was upon a time a king that gets into it. I think King uh, Saul. Whenever that King David, I mean David, ministered to him, he gets relaxed. I used to say that culture is one of the instruments that bring together what war have separated for a very long time. Another culture is music. So I can regularly tell you that what we need at the moment, we know what is going on all over the world, the war, the kidnapping, the insecurities and war have you. And I'm sure introducing something like this can bring all of us together. Dokkas or Larry Waju, Voice TV, Nigeria.